Hello, my lovely Libra, and welcome to your love bonus reading for the month of April. I do hope you have checked out your monthly April general reading as well as your weekly reading. If not, please do so. This is just a general reading as well, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. If you do enjoy it though, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me, and it helps to get to the other Libras on our channel. So let's go ahead and get this out here for you so you can see what your love advice will be. I'm going to do this in a past, present, future type of spread with a focus on love, of course. Um, and we will go ahead and go from there. So let's see what we've got to get started here. All right, this is your past um, category, your present and your future. Hopefully you can see these. If not, I will be holding them up as needed. So uh, we do have the uh, Knight of Cups. Sorry, I froze there for a second. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Knight of Cups. Um, and so I feel like you had opportunity that came in, okay? I feel like you had a, um, a relationship with somebody that you felt was fairly decent, okay, um, when they came in, okay? So I do feel like perhaps you, um, you know, they, they seemed like a, a very... Uh, a very good option when they came in when you met them okay however the next card in your history your history your past your historical category here um is the four of wands upside down uh or in reverse rather so i feel like this person did turn your foundation totally upside down um now this could be because either one they broke your heart so badly that it just shattered you you were gutted by it okay or two this person came in as one person and then they shape-shifted okay and and you all know what i'm talking about some sort of narcissistic transition okay where they were one person when you met them and then after about the four month mark they turned into an absolutely different human being that was absolutely awful right and they just completely turned your life upside down it was just a nightmare okay so either way not a good situation so let's elaborate on this if we can king of pentacles okay so i do feel like that was how you got out of it i feel like you had a real kind of shit show of a situation there for many of you and i feel like it was a really crappy person and they probably either, like I said, they either did you really wrong um, by breaking your heart and they were a decent person, but they just, you know, they just didn't have the feelings for you that you had for them. And so it broke you a little bit or for, and, and honestly, this is what I'm feeling for more of you is that the person just did not represent themselves correctly up front. They came in as a knight in shining armor and then turned into a pumpkin after midnight. Okay. Uh, and so this King of Pentacles, I feel like is somebody who came in to rescue you. So I feel like this King of Pentacles person, they could be a relationship person, maybe somebody that you are currently in a relationship with. If you um, know who this is, um, or are in a relationship with somebody who is kind of a financially stable person or somebody you maybe met at work, but they are kind of a strong, stable figure, um, you know, or it could have been a family member, you know, it could be somebody who is like, you know, a parent, uh, grandparent, older sibling, you know, anybody in your family. Um, and maybe you needed some money to get out. Maybe you needed some help. Uh, because, you know, that's the first thing a narcissist loves to do is threaten your foundation. They love to threaten your homes. They love to threaten, you know, your finances. They love to threaten, oh, you'll never make it without me. You couldn't do anything without me. All of this stuff, um, you know, they groom you for it so that they get you in a position where you're kind of dependent on them and then they pull the rug out from under you. So a lot of times, you know, you feel kind of helpless, but a King of Pentacles energy is not going to be able to be, they're going to be easy to help you. They're going to come in, come through and say, Hey, don't worry about it. You need a place to stay. Got you. You need some extra cash for right now to get you through the hump. Got you. Whatever you need. Got you. So this could be a friend, family member, whomever, or this could be a significant 
uh, other type of person, like it's someone that you know you end up in a relationship with, and maybe it was a best friend that became a relationship. Um, so my chair is so squeaky. I need a WD-40. Anyway, um, but for whoever, I think you all know who this is, since this is in your past category. I think you know who saved you from this relationship, okay? Um, but moving forward, it's obviously brought you to the Ten of Cups. So it brought you to a wonderful happiness, um, a free feeling. You, getting out of it alone would bring you to that happiness feeling. But I do believe that it brought you to, um, you know, your family, your friends, so I think they rallied around you, to be honest with you. I think they saw what you went through. They rallied around you. Um, again, if that King of Pentacles was a family member, they brought you, they may have even brought you home. Um, you know, if you had lived somewhere else, they may, if it was a parent, they may even brought you into the physical home home that you grew up in, that kind of thing, or their home, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but again, I do feel like you are surrounded by love and family and togetherness at this point, you know, in the present. Um, and you are, you know, so thrilled to have that and so lucky to have that too, uh, because you were in a kind of a crap show of a situation. Um, and the next card is the chariot card in reverse. So I feel like at that point you're kind of settled in this. I don't feel like you're ready to move out of it yet. I feel like you know what you went through, you know, you're going to need some healing time. So you're kind of just absorbing settling into this, um, enjoying what you have right now. It's not something where you are um, ready to kind of jump out, move forward, do anything major, take any big steps right now um, because you're kind of really feeling comfort, a comfort right now uh, with the people around you. So let's get some more clarification there. The full in reverse. So I feel like this is kind of like you're finally starting to kind of, you're trying to gather yourself. Okay, you you don't want to be played for a fool anymore. You feel like that's what's happened. You feel like, you know, you feel like even though that's what narcissists do, even though that's what people do, that these people are manipulative. They are excellent at what they do. They know exactly what they're doing. They know how to do it. They are like, I mean, you could almost write a book on, there's billions of books on it. What am I saying? But um, anyway, it is not your fault, <laughs> but you feel like it is because they've made you feel like everything was your fault. They've gaslit you into believing everything was your fault this whole time. So that's kind of, you're starting, you know, you felt like a fool the whole time uh, once you first got out. You're like, gosh, I feel like such a fool. How did I let somebody get me into this? How did I get in that situation? What happened? Oh my, I'm usually so good at seeing the writing on the wall, the red flags, the this, the that, yada, yada, yada. But with this being the full reverse, I feel like now that you are, surrounded by your comfort zone, your tribe, your crew, your support system. You are steady in it steady as you go, okay? You are starting to feel a little bit stronger, a little bit less foolish, a little bit more like, okay, this, you know, you're starting to get that this wasn't my fault. You're starting to finally understand it, I guess. Um, you know, people have been telling you that, but you're now starting to actually at this point, accept it, believe it, you know, that this wasn't my fault. This, you know, normal people don't go around treating other people like trash. Okay. I shouldn't have to be watching for someone to treat me like trash at all times or expecting that to happen and preparing myself because that's not what normal people do. Normal people treat people like decent human beings, right? I'm not the one who was the fool here. They're the fool, right? For treating somebody awful, okay? So this is where you're starting to kind of realize um, and actually realize, not just be told by your people, but actually realize, okay? So that's breakthrough stuff, right? Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like that you're breaking through. You're making this breakthrough. I do feel like that you are doing very, very well emotionally for somebody who's coming out of a narcissistic relationship, which is what I see for most of you. Um, but even with it coming out of, even if it was a broken heart, many of you may be like, you know, you blamed yourself or you feel like I'm so foolish because I, I thought that person would love me, you know, and it's, and it's more of that was a depression situation for you. It happens, of course. Um, but regardless, I feel like you're coming into yourself, you're coming into your own, you're surrounded by love and people. And um, But again, this Ace of Cups in reverse is kind of like your chariot in reverse. This is you um, 
you are full of love and you're full of, you know, all of this charismatic energy and all of this is in you, okay? Especially now that you're surrounded by your people and you've got your support system. You've got all of that back, right? But I don't feel like you're ready to put that out there yet, okay? I don't feel like you're ready to move forward yet. So I feel like right here, you're comfortable, but you are not in any way confident. That's where I feel like you're at right now, okay? You're comfortable, but not confident. Not ready to move forward. You're not ready to get out there. You're not ready to, you don't want to date. You're not even thinking about it, looking at it. Like the thought of it is like, no, I don't even, you know, you're almost like, stay away. I don't trust, no trust, no trust. Red alert. <laughs> as well uh, you should be because you know that is a post-traumatic stress situation coming out of a narcissistic relationship and for some people a really bad breakup if they suffer depression from it that's that's traumatic so um but going forward let's see where we're going with this so we have devil energy here and that devil energy to me i feel like is that narcissist um for most of you and that is because a narcissist never lets go, okay? They're not the kind of person who's going to let you go, especially once they start seeing you heal. That means they lost. That's how they know they've lost. When you're doing better, when you're healing, when you're making it without them, you're proving them wrong. Because all they did was tell you the whole time, you'd never make it without me. You couldn't be anything without me. You're worthless. You're this, you're that, you know, blah, blah, blah. You couldn't you will never make it. You're useless. You're whatever your name calling. And that's their MO, right? Their MO is to control you by crushing your self-esteem to where you think you can't make it without them. That's their MO. Okay. But when they see you're making it just fine, you've got a tribe, you've got a troop, you've got your charisma back. Even if you're not pushing it out there yet, they're going to come back around. I see them coming back around. Okay. They are. They're going to try to chain themselves to you. See the two people chained together? They're going to try to chain themselves to you. Watch out for those people. Please, please, please do not understand. Remember, these people are professional at manipulating. Okay? Narcissists are professional manipulators. They will tell you how sorry they are. They will tell you they've got help. They will tell you they've changed. They will tell you any lie they, and it's devil energy, literally, you know, Satan will tell you anything they, he wants to tell you to make you believe he will be as nasty as he has to be or as sweet as candy, whatever it's going to take to get you to buy into his story, right? The narcissist is the same. So please just avoid, steer clear 1 million percent because you will be too tempted, trust me, to fall into and believe what they're saying. So don't, okay? The next card is an emperor in reverse. And I do feel like that is, you know, I feel like that is gonna be your energy. I, I hate to say that, I really do. But I feel like this is where you finally kind of got your power and authority back. You finally kind of felt like you were strong and sturdy and stable again, gender neutral but that emperor type energy, you finally found yourself. You finally found your peace. You finally kind of found, this wasn't my fault. This isn't something I did. There's nothing I could do to change this person. I'm not the one who's, you, know, you finally got all that, but this person coming back around is turning you on your head upside down, okay? Because again, like I said, they're trying everything they can. They're going to, that's what they do. That's who they are. Let's get some more clarification. All right, Page of Wands. So I see this being somebody who is going to come in. The Page of Wands is an opportunity. Uh, it could be a relationship or it could be an opportunity, a, a friend, family member, somebody like that who is going to come in with information or something like that to try and assist you, okay? Um, try to help you kind of see through the devil energy the lies they're telling, the things they're saying, the schemes they're setting, um, or at the very least distract you from them so that they can kind of help you, help you 
to get away from this person, okay? So this could be a friend or family member, or this could even be a relationship potential, okay? But I do feel like this person is going to come in to try everything they can to help you, to distract you from anything that this devil is trying to sell. Because believe me, they're going to sell everything from they can't live without you, they were so wrong. Oh, my. And anybody who's ever been in a narcissistic relationship, they know, anybody who's watching this that's been there and done that, um, maybe this has been there, done that, and, you know, they this is their second time around or, you know, because if you don't, this is something that is a repetitive pattern, unfortunately. It, it can very easily be a repetitive pattern to fall into. Again, a million books written on it. So you're not alone. <laughs> Trust me. I've been there, done that myself. Um, and I can tell you that those people will come back and they will tell you how much they miss you and how, oh, their world fell apart. They were so wrong and they're so sorry and they're getting help and all these things, none of which is true. It's just long enough to get your rope back in and then guess what? They're the exact same person they always were. But this Page of Wands person is going to try to pull you away from them, distract you, take you away so that they can't suck you back into their web of lies and torture. And so cling to this page of wands. If it's a relationship, that's even better. If this happens to just be a friend or family member for you, take it as it resonates, cling to them anyway. Spend all your time with them if you have to, just to keep yourself away from that devil energy. Because whatever it's gonna take to keep you away from them, no matter how tempted you are to go to them, do not, okay? Further, let's see, queen of wands. All right, now I feel like this is where, if that page of wands brings that in, they bring in that opportunity. This could be a relationship for many of you. And the reason I'm saying that is because I feel like with that queen of wands, that may be your energy where you are taking that emperor upside down, where it's taking you on your head and you are turning it back. Okay. This page of wands is going to help you find yourself again. And you are going to be able to harness that queen of wands energy where you're back. Okay. You're back to yourself. You're back to your, um, you know, you've got your ace of cups deep down in there we know that um, but now you're harnessing it with this page of cup page of wands rather i apologize um and you're able to kind of stand up for yourself be strong be fiery be tough um be queenly uh, you know you see you see what's going on you know what's going on and you're done with what's going on um, and you've got this page of cups you know maybe um to thank for that again it may be a very a relationship person too so you know what they may be bringing you back to life and it may be something that even if they come in as a friend it becomes a relationship because you know you realize that they're the one who saved you from this mess um, so that's a possibility that's a high potential for you um, but again I do feel like this is where you kind of gain your um, your queen of wands you're gaining your strength back okay so this person, this page of wands is pivotal in helping you get there, okay? And let's get one last clarifier here, queen of cups. Yes, baby, I love it. So I feel like that's where you, you come into it, okay? That's where you take that fiery queen of wands energy that kind of tells that devil to kind of go get bent, you know, go back to hell literally, this is the devil, and you say, nope, I have now nothing but um, queenly energy, full of cups, relationship love flowing over for my friends, for my family, for my people, for my possible page of wands, possible relationship there. Um, so I feel like this is you. You are banging it out with that queenly queen of cups energy. Um, so you will. I will survive. Um, you, <laughs> you will survive. Okay. And I think you will make it through just fine. And I think you will kick this sucker, you know, to the curb, to the point where they know that bothering to come back would be a waste of their time. Okay. Of their useless time anyway. Um, so kudos to you. Good for you. And definitely good for the page of cup page of wands. I'll get this straight today. Page of wands, um, for helping you out. So if that is a friend that becomes a relationship, kudos if that is a best friend anyway or just a family member friend whomever they really were the saving grace that I see that really my intuition tells me was that pivotal moment that they saw you starting to show weakness and they said no I will not allow this 
this is where I am stepping in and handling this. We are going to pull this one from the darkness before they get janked down by the devil. So be very grateful for that. <laughs> be very grateful for that page of wands because that's what brings you back to life. All right, so we're gonna pull three of these, one on your past, one on your present, one on your future, and hopefully see how that works out for you. Um, and then we will go from there. So stay optimistic about your love life, okay. So this is in your past, and I think you do. I think when your King of Pentacles comes in and kind of rescues you or offers you the resources to get out, um, so whether it's a family member, a friend, uh, I don't care if it's a lending officer who says, sure, I'll give you a, a loan to get the heck out of that terrible situation so you can get your own apartment, whatever it may be, um, stay optimistic. Don't you know, don't feel like you're alone in this. Number one, know that there's a billion people who deal with these types of breakups, these types of narcissistic issues, all kinds of stuff, okay? Know that. Um, and if it was just a really bad breakup where you just got devastated because the person just did not care about you the way you cared about them, um, you know, I, you know, and this whole devil energy is somebody totally different that's coming into you. You know, all I can say with that is, you know, stay optimistic about your love life there too, because you know what? You can, there's a million fish in the sea. But again, stay away from the devil one. That's all I can say about that. But for most of you, like I said, I really feel like this is somebody who's, they misrepresented themselves. They put you through a crap shit show and you needed to stay optimistic. And you were, and somebody came for you to help you bail you out and you got out and so that's the way you go separation okay second row separation that's currently where you are you are currently separated done with this person moved out from this person you may not even be if this was somebody you were married to you may not even be fully divorced or whatever but you are out out of that okay you are ten of cups with your people, with your tribe, with your crew, surrounded by people who care about you, love you, trying to take care of you. You are with people that are making you feel stronger, better every day, less foolish. Your fool is not as, you know, you're getting your Ace of Cups mojo back. Um, you're not ready to throw it out there yet, but you, you know, you're separated, not, not trying to jump into anything new yet, but you are feeling good. Again, starting to build yourself up, you're healing, okay? That's what you need to do. Um, now this last row is wedding. Okay. So again, for many of you that, um, this page of wands could possibly be somebody coming in, um, and they are, you know, bringing you the help and the saving, uh, swoop in <laughs> that you needed to keep you from falling back into that devil energy trap, I think that, you know, they could possibly be down the road, somebody that is long-term, okay? Um, you know, and they may even be, because this is gender neutral, they may even be, um, you know, the queen of wands energy. They may even become that queen of wands energy, again, gender neutral. Uh, they may come in as the page of wands and then end up becoming the queen of wands energy that allows you to have your queen of cups energy. Um, you know, that could be the, the possibility there. And so as the queen of wands and the queen of cups together, you know, that energy together, again, it's gender neutral. So, you know, with that energy together, it could be dynamite, dynamic, um, you know? So if, if it's not the page of wands, you know, this queen of wands could be somebody who's coming in, you know, after that's, you've been distracted, page of wands has helped you find your way away from them maybe they introduce you to this queen of wands if it's not the same energy maybe they introduce you to this queen of wands energy that's to keep you distracted from that you know they say hey hey i got somebody for you you know if this page of wands is a family member or for a best friend or something they say hey i got somebody for you that's so much better for you than ever going back to that devil and they introduce you to this queen of wands gender neutral of course and then bam you all of a sudden you're coming into this queen of cups feeling energy you're ready to finally project your uh charismatic loving feeling out you know to the world and show yourself again and be there and you know 
you could be a match. You know, you're both of, of same level royalty, um, you know, just different, bringing different fires to the, one's bringing fiery sticks of excitement and one's bringing water and <laughs> of love, cups of love. And so, you know, you might, it's possible here that you might um, have that going on. So, uh, you know, I, I see that there is, there's definitely love in your future here. Um, once you are able to get away from that devil energy. And I do think that that page of cups is instrumental. Um, now, whether the page of cups is, turns into that queen of cups energy or, oh my Lord, wands, <laughs> queen of wands energy or introduces you to them, you know, whatever it may be, that kind of thing. Um, but I do feel like, you know, there's going to be a loving connection there. So, um, and then I'm going to pull three of these. Uh, these are, um, goodness gracious, I am thinking soulmate cards. Hello. So even if you are single, um, you want to kind of imagine what your perfect soulmate would be like. And that's kind of how these will apply. But I'm going to go ahead and pull three of these for you to kind of ponder on, think on. Um, and I'll pull these whoo, for each level here. And we'll kind of see if we can get some extra guidance with those. So this one says, love is the expression of God, goddess flowing through you. Love is a sacred union, a great creative power, which through the merging of two souls becomes an exploration of the divine. Okay. So again, I feel like this is coming under the stay optimistic about love. And again, I do feel like that is it. It's something that is a, a joyful expression of love, a joyful union. Okay. So if you're feeling foolish that things like this happen, you have to realize that that wasn't love, okay? Realize that. That'll help you get to a point where you understand that that's that person's not even capable. A narcissist is not even capable of love because they're not able to, um, you know, they're not able to have that sacred union or they, they only think about themselves. So just stay optimistic that there's somebody who has that kind of equal sacred togetherness that will help you grow together, be together kind of thing for you. Um, this one, from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect. Yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred for they each help us grow in love and wisdom. And again, this is talking about each relationship, okay? So this doesn't necessarily even just mean like, super uh, romantic type relationships to me because you can have a soulmate that is, you know, I believe you can have a soulmate that is, you know, a sibling, a, a parent, uh, you know, whomever is the person that is always there for you. And in this row, you know, you have a 10 of cups, okay? You have, you're surrounded by your tribe, your people, okay? So perhaps, like it says here, um, from a physical perspective, some relationships are less than perfect, okay? Because there may not be a physical relationship here, okay? Yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred. So again, that's why I'm saying this could just be a, you know, a platonic type of relationship we're talking about here. Friends, family that's surrounding you, supporting you, building you up, helping you come back into yourself, healing you. Um, all relationships are sacred for they each help you grow in love and wisdom. And this is what you're doing in this row. You're separated from that person and you are growing. You're growing in your wisdom about yourself, about what you've gone through, that it wasn't your fault. And you're growing in love because you're surrounded by your tribe, your crew, your people, man. Okay. These are your posse. These are your, you know, your mom, your dad, your sister, brother, cousin, best friend, whomever. And they're the ones helping you get through it. So that's perfect, okay? And this is the last one and it says, you are a jewel even though you may not see it. What you consider imperfect is an illusion. Even in darkness, you shine eternally bright, okay? So I do think that this is kind of really, um, kind of really interesting because it's talking about a diamond um, and or shining bright like a jewel under the wedding card <laughs> and that made me think of a diamond shining like a jewel and okay of course and so I do feel like potentially this could be a marriage marriage type of relationship here down the line I'm not necessarily saying and again time is fluid in tarot so we don't know if this is happening you know 
six months from now, only you know where you are in this process right now, you know? Uh, are you just now starting the healing? Did you just now come out of this relationship? Are you just now waiting for your King of Pentacles to come pick you up? You know, where are you in the relationship in this process? You know, that's take it as it resonates to you specifically. Uh, but time is fluid. So, you know, this may be months down the road. This could be a year down the road. You know, we don't know. So wedding is very possible if these energies are matching. And, you know, you're seeing yourself differently here. We know that because we see you as an upside down emperor up here. When that devil energy is back at you again, you're feeling totally sucked in for a second, upside down. Oh, you're remembering how awful the things that they said, even if they're trying to say the nice things to you. Oh, I was so wrong. I'm so sorry. But your mind is still going racing back to all those things they said about you. You know, all the mean things that they said or told you, right? But here, this is telling you that's not you remember you know again you may not see it but it's an illusion okay they may have convinced you of one thing but that's just an illusion you shine eternally bright even in darkness and that's what this page of wands comes in and helps you see okay helps you get that shift by distracting you from this person this horrible devil energy and either introducing you to the queen of wands or um, they themselves kind of elevate their relationship uh, with you into themselves being the queen of wands and giving you your queen of cups energy, okay? Um, because again, gender is neutral. So they could be really like king of wands if it's, or, you know, you're the king and they're the queen, you know, whatever, maybe you get it. Um, but again, I do think that could culminate into, uh, you know, a. Uh, an engagement or marriage down the road here. So that's kind of interesting because it is in this row where everything is kind of shifting for you. You are kind of making a complete shift from a place where you've got the devil coming back at you and you could have very easily gone down that road that way, but instead you weren't fooled by that illusion of lies that they were spitting at you of, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll change, I fixed everything. I was wrong, I couldn't live without you. La, 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 la. But now you've been shown the path that you really are shining bright like a diamond and you really are going to be on so much better a plane. So I do think you are going to have so much happier and ending uh, in love going forward. So I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back later uh, for other readings and uh, please do check out your um, other readings in the uh, channel there. We do have moon readings up and this is a big moon month. So uh, we have double moons, we have eclipse, all kind of stuff. So you might want to check out your moon radiance. Pretty cool. Uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.